Hi, I'm Elil Array. Welcome to an SI session. And uh, today we're going to be discussing a very basic topic in chemistry, really, but uh, it's greatly used in our biology. And this is an SI video for Biology 1441. My name is Elil Array, and I am the SI instructor. And this is just a quick little video, uh, it's a series of videos just about molarity because we've had a lot of emails and a lot of questions about understanding molarity and um, if you, for, for those of you chem majors in this class please just be patient with us and if you're new to molarity hey it is uh, it's a hard concept to understand at first it gets easier as the road goes by so feel free to send us an email uh, let's just go right to the meat of things molarity now what is molarity first before you can understand how to really work with molarity it's always good to think about a concept behind it because in your exams that's what you'll be tested on so understanding molarity real quick what would, what would you say is the concentration of alcohol in this glass of wine if you were given a glass of a substance X how would you be able to calculate the concentration of whatever solute or substance that has been dissolved in it in X amount of liters or milliliters of water or whatever solvent it is it's, it's almost impossible to calculate but the reason why I pose that question and it's not impossible to calculate but it's impossible to sometimes conceptualize and that is why we have molarity that is what molarity is really used for molarity really stands for concentration it is concentration which is moles uh, moles per liter and in other words let me see if we can uh, add something here moles per liter just real quick let me add this here and in other words molarity it's moles of solute which is the substance you're dissolving solute or any substance in another language divided by liters of solvent that is what molarity really is so if you go back to that glass of wine you look at this glass how many liters are in here you need to calculate that how many moles are calculated in here and to really to be able to understand how to work with molarity you need to be able to read a problem so for example if you are given a problem and we'll do another just a quick example here and again this is just a quick tutorial so uh, we can go really fast if you were to do a problem of molarity let's do another one real quick if you are given a 64 molar solution of sodium chloride now how would you read that what does that mean so if you go back look above right here moles of solute of any substance whenever you see 64 molar solution it means you have in this solution right here um, you have 64 moles of sodium chloride which is the solute per one liter of solvent in this case you're not told what the solvent is the solvent could be water could be alcohol it could be anything you're not told in this case but whenever you see 64 solution of sodium chloride or you see something that says a 5 or a 0.5 molar solution of sulfuric acid what does that mean it means you have 0.5 moles of every or for every one liter of solvent of whatever the solvent is generally most of the time it is it is water but just for the sake of understanding here that's why I just that's why we're just placing that if you're able to read a molarity problem you would be able to solve a lot of things and so just be able to so um, try to conceptualize that whenever you see something written in 
in forms like this if you have a hard time calculating because we're going to go down into how you can calculate and mess around with molarity but whenever you just see dash molar of something always just remember hey this is a concept it means I have X number of moles for every one liter of something so if you were given 10 moles of what is what can I use here 10 moles of copper right dissolve in two liters of water what is the concentration of the end product or of the new solution concentration of the solution now you have so you just have to think about it you have 10 moles of copper of copper in two liters of water I'll give you a few minutes just to think about it real quick so you gotta go your molarity is always moles or moles per liter just like here moles per liter so you have 10 moles of copper and you have two liters of water which will give you a five molar copper solution so that's really basic very straightforward basic understanding of molarity and that's just being able to read a molarity problem and the next video that we're gonna do we're gonna go a little in depth and see how we can get how we can use molarity in this case and see how you can know how many molecules are in somewhere or get a number of grams and go back to moles and liters and vice versa but just being able to understand that so real quick um, before we move on in, the, in this situation right here 64 molar sodium chloride solution if you're given a situation like that and you're asked how many molecules how many molecules of sodium chloride are found in are in a 64 molar solution how would you solve that okay just think about it a little bit 64 molar solution means there are 64 moles of sodium chloride in every one liter now you know one mole of sodium chloride or any substance is equal to Avogadro's number which is 6.02 times where is that button 6.02 times 10 raised to the 23 molecules so now in this case you have 64 moles so all you have to do is take your 64 and multiply it by 6.2 and that will give you how many molecules are in here and for those of you with a calculator you know the answer is already 385.28 molecules 28 I'm sorry, 2 8 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So, this is just a quick understanding of molarity, and on our next video, we're going to go ahead into solving strict problems. Alright, thank you.